Welcome back, Thrani. I'm Joe B. In this video, we'll say goodbye to pain brought about by a lateral rib protrusion or an anterior posterior rib compression through manual techniques and self mobilization. Let's dive in. An anterior posterior rib compression injury is when the rib is sticking outward or protruded or more laterally as compared to the rest of the ribs. The cause of this can be due to trauma of equal front and back compression resulting to lateral rib protrusion. An anterior posterior rib compression can bring about a localized dull aching pain on one side of the chest or axilla increased by deep breathing. There is also an outward or lateral rib protrusion of that dysfunctional rib. The assessment for an anterior posterior rib compression requires the physical therapist to do a lateral rib sweep. Patient is in a side lying position with the tested rib uppermost and the right hand at the head. The therapist will be in front of the patient with the left dorsal web space at the 10th rib which is the lowermost palpable rib on the side of the trunk. The web space are slowly slid from the lateral side of the 10th rib upwards to the axilla. Normal findings are that the ribs do not have a sharp lateral rib upward protrusion or depression. Abnormal findings is that the right fifth rib will have an upward prominence. For the treatment, a muscle energy technique can be done to gently push the laterally protruded rib inward or medially. The patient will be in a short sitting position at the end of the table with the left arm draped over the therapist's right shoulder. The therapist is standing opposite the dysfunctional rib with the right hand middle finger over the lateral rib shaft of the dysfunctional rib to be treated reinforced by the left middle finger. The therapist provides a medial or inward compressive force on the laterally protruding rib while side bending the patient to the right. If there is a movement restriction, the patient is instructed to side bend to the left against the therapist's resistance to encourage autogenic inhibition and allow more right side bending to assist with medial rib or inward rib motion. For the exercises, using a tennis ball at the lateral shaft of the fifth rib, pressed medially through shoulder adduction can be done for three reps for 30 seconds each. So do you want to learn how to reduce pain from a lateral rib compression injury? If so, then watch this next video. Thank you so much.